You're not going to believe this if you haven't seen this hack. You can solve equations on your calculator and your teachers haven't told you. Why? I don't know. They're probably doing it because it's good for you in the long term, okay? But I know what you guys actually want. You want, in the exam, a foolproof way of making sure you got the right answer and just knowing that you've got marks banked because it gives you that confidence to be like, yeah, I've got that. I haven't, I haven't made a mistake. Here, I'm, I'm going to show you. You can solve literally any question on your calculator using this real sneaky little thing here. You're allowed this, so why wouldn't you use it? We're going to type this out, okay? We're going to type this out, but we're going to replace any letter with X. So you see in the top right of this calculator here, it's X. So let's type this equation in. Five brackets, X minus three, close brackets. So remember, we're swapping Q out for X just because the calculator doesn't have a Q. Now I want to put equals, but you don't want to hit this equals because it's going to then just think you're trying to like find the answer. So you want to find another equals somewhere on your calculator that isn't that equals, and it's up there. You see this weird little red equals. If you hit alpha, then calc, it pulls up this red equals and it puts it in there. Now we're going to go 12 minus X, 12 minus X. Now, I need to just tell you what's about to happen because you're going to press something and it's going to give you a number and you're going to think this is the answer and it's not. I understand that this calculator hack is a little bit fiddly, but just learn it. Just learn it and then go and get loads of marks in your exam. You don't want to hit equals. You want to solve the equation. So you're looking for the word solve and it's on the same button as the equal, so it's kind of handy. It's that yellow solve. So we're going to hit shift and solve, but I have to warn you that... <laughs> warn you. This is not that scary. Nothing not that scary is going to, going, to, going to pop out of the calculator. But it's going to give you a number and it's not the answer. Watch this. Shift, solve. You're all going to think, oh, it's three. It's not three. You have to hit equals again. I, I'm not going deep into why that is. What, what your calculator doing is asking you for a starting value and it's going to do this weird thing where it zeroes in on the answer, basically. So you hit equals and now it's found the answer. And so it will always look weird like this, but the L minus R, just ignore it. The answer is 4.5. You can literally do this on any equation in your GCSE and it's not going to get you full marks every time, okay? It's not going to get you full marks every time because you have to show some working sometimes. But isn't it nice to essentially have the mark scheme on you? So again, you stick the answer there, 4.5. And now you go back and try and show it.